Mrs. Komiak, and I'm here to review with you about chemical reactions. Remember, um, a chemical reaction is when molecules are broken apart and atoms are rearranged into new molecules. So here we can see that methane, when we combine it with oxygen, we end up with carbon dioxide and water. And you can think of Legos as a way to rearrange things as the atoms being rearranged. In a chemical reaction, no new atoms are created or lost. The reactants just turn into the products. So you can see that we have a conservation of mass and matter. We have calcium chloride mixing with sodium sulfate, coming up with calcium sulfate and in a NaCl solution. So the same amount of mass is there. You can also see that the number of atoms is is conserved. So we started off with one carbon, this yellow, and we ended up with one carbon. We started off with four atoms of hydrogen, this H, and we ended up one, two, three, four atoms of hydrogen. We started off with one, two, three, four atoms of oxygen, and we an ended up with one, two, three, four atoms of oxygen. So in a chemical reaction, the atoms are rearranged. So how, how do we know if a chemical reaction has occurred if we can't see the atoms? Well, we could look at the chemical formulas and we can see that, oh wait, that looks different. A rearrangement of the uh, elements, new, form, new compounds have been made. Uh, if we're lucky, we can use a simulation or a model or just look at the physical properties. So uh, some of the physical properties show change in color. Somebody bleached their hair and that changes its color. So that, that shows that a chemical reaction has occurred. We can see a change in temperature, but burning wood produces heat. Uh, it produces a gas. So alkyl seltzer and water, that's a chemical reaction. It produces gas bubbles. We could also see the production of a solid. When we add acid to milk, we can end up with cottage cheese, this production of this solid. So we're really lucky that we have this simulation and we're gonna maybe use the simulation. So we can see here the rearrangement of if a chemical reaction has taken place. So here we start off with calcium bromide and sodium carbonate. And we can see we end up with something different just by looking at the formulas and the ingredients or the products. They're different than the reactant. We can also see that the molecules have been broken apart and the atoms rearranged. We had Br, Ca, Br, and here the Ca is connected to oxygen and carbon and the Br is connected to the Na. Okay, so definitely a chemical reaction has occurred. What's really cool about the simulation is that you can also see that there have been changes. Even though we might look the same color, white, 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 and it's still a solid, right? We can see that we have these chemical properties that have changed, right? So the melting and boiling point have changed. So that's a way of looking at them. The physical properties have changed. Here's another one. Let's see. Let's see if we can tell if a chemical reaction has occurred. We have sodium hydroxide mixing with carbon dioxide, CO2. And we ended up with sodium bicarbonate or baking soda. So again, we started off with a solid and a gas and we ended up with a solid. That's great evidence that there has been a chemical change. We can see that with our eyes. We can't see that there has been rearranging of the atoms, but we can see the results of that. We can see also the physical properties have changed. There's differences in the melting points and um, the phase at room temperature. Okay. So please take a moment to review and check back with all the things that you have. You can use any of your other resources and good luck.